Oh, I got one. 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 Okay, I heard you. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Captain Jason O'Brien, J-O-B Fishing. So today, Melissa and I are going to take out Daredevil and we're going to set up on the reefs, try to get a little jig bite going on. Then we plan on going out uh, and doing some trolling. The yeah, troll bite's still uh, from all the blows earlier in the season. It's uh, just coming on. It's uh, within the last week here. It's done a lot. Uh, pre previous to that, three weeks, water's been so dirty that the troll bite's been uh, slow at best so but pretty excited today um yesterday we had absolutely fantastic charter with the group caught our limits uh in pretty quick fashion hopefully today we can repeat what we did today uh yesterday obviously you guys were on daredevil first time shooting a video other than doing the walkthrough video so you're gonna have to excuse if we're not getting the exact uh camera angles that we were wanting but uh, we got cameras all over the boat we'll give her a shot so all right guys let's go fishing good So we just launched off the dock, the slip, uh, heading out of the channel. We're in uh, West Harbor. So the plan today, uh, we're going to run over to Tucson, you know, well, halfway between Tucson and Locust Reef. I would anticipate uh, we got the Jiggy Tournament going on today, along with a, you know, driving around Port Clinton. There is a ton of boats and trucks driving around. So I would imagine today is going to be extremely busy on the lake. Also, it took me a little time to get the camera set up on Daredevil this morning. I would have preferred to be on the uh, reef structure probably at the crack of dawn. Um, we've uh, found that the uh, jig bite, it's uh, real strong from uh, sun up to about, I think you got to about 9, 9.30, and then, I mean, you can uh, continue to jig, but it's uh, it's a little bit slower pick after that. But uh, anyhow, we'll go and we'll try to grab a few fish off the, uh, jig bite and then uh, we're going to probably move out towards B can, uh, B can to C can, um, kind of veer off a little bit about halfway to Niagara and then kind of beeline it over towards the monument. Obviously we'll mark, make sure the fish that were there yesterday are still there, but uh, other than that guys, here goes Daredevil. You guys get to see her in action. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen her on the water, but now you get to be on the inside. see the reef or all the uh, <laughs> boat marks that we're getting put the radar on standby there we go all right let's go all right guys uh, we're just north on the north edge of Tucson so today we're using a Venom hair jig. What is that, purple with a little chartreuse yeah. on the bottom? Um, this is a one ounce. And uh, you can see, got a little uh, number eight treble hook, trailer, teaser hide. Um, I, I, we're running a, uh, a Stratic 2500 with braid to a four, uh, fluorocarbon leader. Got about 14 foot of leader. 10 to 14. Um, 
on the charter boat, I use a, I don't know if you can see that, a little ball bearing swivel with a tiny little uh, clip. Um, a lot of times, like on my tournament boat, I'll direct tie to the, uh, the actual jigs themselves. But uh, sometimes if the bite gets tough, you can go ahead and tip this with uh, live minnows or uh, a Berkeley uh, gulp finesse bait will work as well. So uh, today, guys, we're not, we don't have any mu much of a drift because of the lack of wind, so we're having to cast this out. All right. And we are in about 15 foot of water, so one ounce, I think it's roughly around uh, two foot for every second. So about seven seconds, make sure you get bottom contact. And then you just want to have a nice tight line and just pop it and walk it all the way back. Just little pops off the bottom. And you just want to have, remain in uh, bottom contact. So I'll either use, oop, oh shoot, Did you catch? I almost had one. <laughs> so you want to use like somewhere about three quarter or one ounce. Um, when I'm having to cast out, I typically like going to more of a heavier bait because it's uh, just you be able to retrieve it a little bit faster. So the idea here, guys, you're uh, catching the males that are sitting up on the reef during the spawn. Um, so what you're trying to do is get a reaction bite out of them, and they are feisty. So that's it. So I'll let you uh, on that one. Then I'll come to this side, and we'll see if we can't jig in a couple fish. Um, the bite's been uh, pretty good out here for the jig bite, so I don't want to spend a ton of time here. The uh, tournament is going on, so... But yeah, uh, it depends on the depth of water and everything else. It kind of dictates whether I'm going to a three-quarter ounce or... Um, the other... Uh, so again, guys, this is a Venom hair jig. Uh, Bad Boy also makes really nice uh, hair jigs. In fact, inside of their... Uh, Inside of the head, they actually got rattles in them, so. All right, let's see if we can't get a couple. All right, we got a little bit of a overcast this morning, which might extend the jig bite a little bit better this morning. Oh, geez, I just missed that one. Yeah, remember guys, these males, what they're trying to do, they're either catching them on the you want to keep your line tight on your uh, retrieval. A lot of times they're hitting it on the fall, or if it's on the bottom, these uh, walleye are going to use their bottom jaw and pin that uh, hair jig to the bottom. Oop, there you go. All right, babe, I need you to reel in real quick. You got one? Met my fish. Okay. Silly little finger. one. All right. I'll tell you when. Okay. There it is. Oh. It's nice fish. There you go. All right. That didn't take about Five a minutes. minute. <laughs> Second cast. All right, guys. Just a little guy. Yeah. Oh, 19 inch fish, nice walleye. All right, we'll let that go. Whoop. And he's off. So typically guys, this time of year, April, maybe the first week of May, uh, on my charters, I'll uh, bring everybody out, put a jigging rod in their hand, and we'll spend till about 9.30 out here jigging up some walleye. Oops. Not that we're keeping track, but Jason won Melissa's zero. I'm not, I'm not holding out my choke for myself. <laughs> there, got one. another one. I don't even see the line. On my sixth cast. I think you're casting them out much farther than I am. Doesn't matter. We were catching them right beside the boat yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. He's feisty. Biggin? 
Feels better than the last one. I'm gonna move right. back here. Where are you? Oh, there it is. I see it. It's coming. Whoa. There it is. All right, nice. Nice chicken fish. I got it. Got it. You got it? Yep. All right. Guys, this is a lot of fun. If you've never come to Lake Erie um, and then tried doing the, the uh, jig bite, early morning jig bite, highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, if I had a choice to jigging and trolling, I'm going to troll 99% of the time. But, and we'll still go trolling today. Hopefully we get a few that way. But, uh, I mean, look at that fish. I mean, that's a nice... Twenty-one inch Lake Erie walleye. They're starting to. Whoa! Oh, that's twice I've done that. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> You're splashing yourself. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, these males are so feisty this time of year. That's why they're so fun to catch. They got a lot of attitude. Um, and all you're trying to do is put that hair jig right next to them and try to, excuse my language, but piss them off a little bit so that they bite your lure, your, your hair jig. Again, after you cast it, let it sit there for about yeah, six, seven seconds. Yeah, can you watch seconds. me do it? Hold on, I just cast it. Okay. Let me catch one more fish, babe. But watch me. But watch me do it. So see, I just let it drop. I haven't even reeled in. I, I pulled up line. See how tight my line is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can feel it on the bottom. So I reel down and pop. And then I can feel it hit the bottom. Pop, drop. And you can feel it hit pop. the bottom all yeah. the way out there. Okay. Pop. Pop. Every time I'm saying pop, yeah. you can feel it hit the bottom. Okay? okay. So you're just making it skip across the bottom. That's it. There's like little, and not huge not huge like you know you just want a little flick in the wrist that's it and just walk that bait towards the boat now you can change up your cadence stall it out do like three quick ones you know so we're drifting about 0.5 so you can go a lot slower on your side because we're drifting towards my side that's why you're catching all oh, the fish. Oh, I got one. That's why you're catching the fish. I think we should switch sides. We can do that. Three nothing. You have an advantage. Well, the advantage is I've been out here doing it <laughs> <laughs> all week. This one's not as big. Little, almost 18. Another nice little fish. You want to change sides? Yeah. All right. All right, so now I need to go and catch one real quick. Why? To prove that, <laughs> prove that it's not the side? So that's three fish. We're not keeping today. Got one. What? <laughs> oh, I lost it. You didn't have it. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Well, I'll replay it on the video. <laughs> you totally Everybody just made that up. Everybody at home saw that. You totally made that up. Nope. You're just trying to, you're just trying to make it seem oh, like I'm Oh, he took my teaser hook. Bad fisherman. I think we should get another counter. What? I think we should get another counter for the other side. So that on days like this, when we're fishing together, we can each keep our own score. Mm. Well, it's pretty easy to keep count today. <laughs> we only need one. You never know what's gonna happen. <sighs> Got one. Right. 
another little guy. Alright, that one, another 18 inch. Well, so far, I'm four for four on my releases. <laughs> so, yeah, we're using a Stratic 2500 Shimano reel. And like I said, we're using a Power Pro line. I think about 20 pound to a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. About, I don't know, 10, 12 foot long leader. The double uni with a small clip. The rod, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a seven foot, yeah, seven foot Shimano SLX. I typically, I, I like a little bit stronger tip um, and power rod, so I went with a medium heavy, fast, which I find with the three quarter ounce and the one ounce jigs, kind of give you a little bit more, a little bit more backbone, especially if you, start catching in some uh, nice walleye. A lot of guys go to a medium rod though. That'll work just fine. The sun's coming up from behind the clouds. It's about nine o'clock. We'll give this about another 30 minutes. And we'll go set up our troll bite. Yeah, trolling out here has been a little bit difficult for the last, I don't know. Feels like four weeks, but may not be that long. I mean, we had a lot of big blows come through here, as you've seen on other videos and stuff. So we had some uh, over 50 mile an hour, well over 50 mile an hour winds. So, and it really uh, dirtied up these waters. Oh, got another one. Fish. Can we troll now? What? Can we start trolling now? <laughs> No, we're not trolling. I'd like to start trolling now. No. You gotta get better at jigging. You're not gonna get better at jigging trolling. I'll catch fish trolling. <laughs> Nicer one. Yeah. Whoa. All right. So, six fish. Right in the top of the mouth. Right where it's supposed to be. Yep, another little one. Okay, I heard you. <laughs> Jeez. Go left. There it is. Yay! <gasps> you Whoa. caught it in the water. <laughs> Okay, don't put it over my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice one. Your first jig fish. Yay! Do you want to mount it? No. You want to touch it? <laughs> no. Uh, 19 and a half. You want to release it? No. I'll put it on my side. That's seven fish. Let's seven see, fish see, in 37 minutes. Yeah, how long have we been fishing? We set up around 9.30. Not 9. Or 8.30. 8 Which, guys, believe it or not, <laughs> if you're out here at the crack of dawn, set up on the reefs, it goes even faster than this, if you can believe that. I don't know how much faster you need, but all right so we got melissa catching a fish we may have to edit out i got one 
a few times. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I just lost it. I got one, Jason. I got one. I got one. Got a fish on. Oh, nice one. Oops, careful, careful. Wow. So that's two for me. Right? Yep. Six for you. Ooh. This little baby. You want to hold it? No. Your second one. Nice. So we've been here for about, I don't know, a little over an hour, hour, two minutes, three minutes. And we got nine fish in the boat. I've lost two. So we pretty much have already caught our limit of walleye. Mind you, only nine of them got into the boat. But uh, then I was in one hour of fishing and not even starting until 8.30. So pretty awesome bite. Again, guys, if you have never done this on Lake Erie, highly recommend it. Month of April, beginning of May. Uh, come out here, get on this jig bite. Um, it's a lot of fun. Now, you don't have to use hair jigs. You can do uh, search baits, uh, blade baits. Um, Oh, even rattle traps I've caught fish on, uh, just jigging them, popping them like this, casting. But uh, yeah, it's fun. I'd highly recommend coming out and doing it. And I think that's a wrap. So we're going to uh, convert the boat over for trolling real quick and move outside the can line. Just out around B is the plan. Hopefully we go over there, mark some fish. up everything's secure let's motor over to the next spot all right guys We're gonna do 120 on the outside, 80 on the middle, and 40 on the inside. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we're just outside of B Can. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. So today, Melissa is running Bandits, and I'm running the new Bill Lewis. PWCs. Um, I'm going to run 100, 80, and 60 on mine just because the Bill Lewis's are running a little bit deeper than the Bandits. So guys, this is actually one of, uh, irregardless, Kelly Schmidt went ahead and uh, custom painted this PWC. I also have it on the other side of a Bandit. Real nice bait. Yesterday, this took a lot of fish. So hopefully uh, it does the same thing again today. So I'm gonna put this one down at uh, 80 foot lead. Uh, 
And guys, because we're using braid, we're using the Sam's Pro Clip OR39. So again, guys, one, two, three, four, five, whatever twist. I have them both coming out the top. Put a little slack in the line on the red clip, and out it goes. So guys, the reason why I'm using braid, obviously on the charter boat, the braid's a little bit more resilient, uh, holds up a little bit better. Also use the braid when I'm using uh, jet divers and big boards. So today we're doing inlines, going a little bit slower, 1.5 to 1.8. So I just like, uh, so instead of having a whole bunch more rods just for inline with the mono, which that's what we run on the, tournament boat this one here I just uh, go ahead and have all of our six boards on each side set up for the OR 39 for braid the, 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 the key is making sure that this tension screw is set so a lot of people when you're when they test it they're pulling on here to see if it's the right tension that might be a little tight but anyway you need to pull at the bobber to get your see so that's that might be a little tight there you might want to switch that up all right guys so um again program melissa's got three bandits her leads on the outside 120 on the end uh 120 80 and 40. so on my side i got the new bill lewis crankbaits on they do have a steeper dive car, uh, curve than the bandits. Uh, they definitely pull a little bit harder. Um, the noise, oh, unless you got one on the inside. Okay. All right, that's one up. You remember how to do this? No, <laughs> actually I don't. Stay on your side and we'll watch the camera. You have back up down the... Yeah. I'm kind of close to the camera. Yep. Oh. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's on the water. He's on the surface. Yeah. Bring it over to my side. Go to the left gunnel. Eey. All right. Nice fish. Ooh, nice fish. Oh, oh, He's got no. barnacles. That's a huge fish. Yep. The difference between trolling and digging, huh? Yep. For sure. How's the boats ahead of us? Keep an eye out. Yeah, they're fine. All right. Real nice fish. Black and gold. Bandit. Stock color. This fish got a couple parasites on it. Gross. Whatever you want to call them. But we're not keeping fish today anyway. Uh, almost 24 inch fish. And you see all the parasites on it. Nice. Hey. All right, we're gonna let that go. One for me, none for you. So we got that pretty fast. You just set that bait. I did, I was just cleaning off my chair. You guys, you can see all the boats around us. That's what my radar on. I can turn that off. So I can put that on standby. Gets rid of all the marks on my radar. So uh, I like to, if I'm out in the back of the boat, I typically like to keep that on, make sure I'm not colliding with any other boats. So you see there's B can, there's C can. Obviously I got the 2D uh, sonar going on the bottom right. Up here is actually a camera. So I can actually go in here. There you go. There's a camera out the front of the boat. So I can kind of watch for boats and what have you. Right now it's a little blurry because we got a little haze going on right now. Beautiful day, beautiful April day. We've had absolutely beautiful weather this week. 
I think uh, Monday, Tuesday, get a little crappy out here, starting tomorrow afternoon, actually Sunday afternoon. But uh, yeah, we've actually had some nicer water or weather. It's cleaned up the water. You kind of see, I don't know if you see from there, but you can kind of get an idea. You can actually see cavitation plate way down there. Getting some good marks. Coming up to 20, 18 foot. We are doing 1.3, 1 1.4. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. We got the eye troll, which I absolutely love. This is the Simrad autopilot. So this is what's uh, <coughs> controlling the um, kicker. And this is the remote control for the AP44 autopilot for the kicker. So, got official. My middle. All right. Uh oh, that could be a monster. All right. If I land this, it'll be 1-1 one, one on the troll. Let's face it, I absolutely kicked your butt on the digging. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's on camera, don't worry about <laughs> it. Yeah, absolutely gotcha on the jigging. I hope you lose this fish. Mm -hmm. I'm jinxing you. Ooh, a couple head shakes, pulling pretty hard. Yeah, yesterday we were out here, we caught some really nice fish. So hopefully we uh, can repeat that. The weather conditions are almost the same. Yesterday we had no clouds in the sky though. Um, today we got a little bit of scattered clouds. Do you remember how to take that board off? I know it's been a while. Well, now it's on your side. Watch the camera. Ah, ah, ah. I gotta go to the other side of you. All right, ready? At 20 feet. Nice fish. Ooh, ah, just lost him. <laughs> oh, oh no. Ah. Whoa. Just lost that fish. If, the, if I had a good netter, it would have been in the net. <laughs> the, the fish was at least, what, I heard you, it was on camera, it was 20 feet out. No. Yeah, you said 20, I heard you. Oh, you got one on my outside. Do you want me to get it? Nope, watch the boats. Okay. Board. I think I lost it. No, he's still there. Just a little one. 26 feet net. Oh, watch the boat. Watch the boat, watch the boat. Don't let it hit the metal. All right. Two on PWC. I do not know the color or the name of this, but I'll show you guys the bait in, the, in a minute. Little guy. Let's get this back in the water. 100 lead. Well, that's two for PWCs, one for Bandit. All right, guys, this is the new bait. Bill Lewis, precise walleye crank, Mark Romanak. So this particular one here was uh, custom painted by um, Irregardless, Kelly Schmidt. Uh, yesterday, it absolutely tore it up. So took a lot of big fish. So just to show you guys this color. Was that like a yellow on the bottom? Yeah. Purple top? Yep. Purple, yellow, it's got a little gold. It's got that reflective with this high sun. Really does nice. So a couple of good things about this. One, 
I don't know the brand of the hook, but it is like an EWG, extra wide gap, two hooks versus three, like the Bandit. Best way to describe this bait, guys, it's kind of like if a, if a Bandit and a Reef Runner 800 had a baby. So it's got that little bit of a curve, like tail dancer type uh, uh, shape to it. You can um, hear the rattles. It's got a little bit of a deeper thunk than the Bandit. Uh, nice thing is they come right out of the box, tuned, and they stay tuned. Um, you can see they got, uh, I mean, it, it actually, it, it, you know, so far I've, had, I've not had to tune any of these yet. So even after catching big fish. So, so far, love them. They're very effective. Before all the big blow, and now here's the thing, I didn't use them for quite some time because I don't have a lot of white painted. PWCs. Uh, I got a lot of chromes and other colors, but uh, for the last three weeks, the uh, any any crankbait with white white Wonder Bread, uh, redhead uh, redhead white, um, you know those baits were with the dirty water from the blow. Those were primarily the go-to baits here for the last I don't know three four weeks. But uh, here this week with the with the winds dying down and the lake clearing up and the water getting to the right color, uh, we've had we've gone back to the uh, chrome. So this bait here has been absolutely deadly. Oop, my outside. You want me to get it? Yep. Here, let me get this head board. So 30 or 40, 70. This is a monster. I'm just going to reel in your fish for you so that you can actually get it in the boat. <laughs> it's fine. Steal my fish. <laughs> Here, take it. No, you already started. It's yours now. <laughs> no, right. Does it feel like a 10 pounder, babe? Mm hmm. It feels pretty big. Kept the board under. This is going to mess up our competition. This will be. This will be two for you. Yeah, but that's the <laughs> third fish that the PWCs have caught. Tip up to the right. Tip up. Good lord. Big fish. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, nice. Holy crap. Nice fish. Absolutely monster. Monster fish. <laughs> Whoa, almost came and jumped at you. Very, very, very nice fish. Yep. PWC. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll tell you, these hooks are beefy. There's no doubt. You're not bending these things out. No, I don't walleye anyway. Very nice fish. 25 inch walleye. And we'll put her back. And even though Melissa reeled that fish in, it was on my side. Well guys, our first video on Daredevil. So maybe you get a feel, you, it does catch fish. <laughs> Uh, so if you're interested, on coming on out, doing a charter on uh, Daredevil, give me a call or go to the website www.job-fishing.com and uh, got all my rates there and what have you, but uh, inside. There we go. Oh, did we miss it? No, he's still there. All right, just as I was talking. So that is a PWC, and this is a 60 foot lead. What speed are we doing, Ben? Top right, 1.6, doing 1.6. Oh, got one on, on the outside. Here, you want to take this rod? Yeah. Here, take that over to the right. Let me grab this other fish. Two on the PWCs. We got a 100 lead. 
and we got 60 foot lead and we got a double on back up from the camera a little bit you're really close so all right Keep it there. You're gonna come over here. I'll I'll put my rod in the holder. Tell me when you're at 20. Are you turning it? 20. All right. I'm gonna put mine in there. Go to the left, babe. Put your foot hip Whoa, on the left. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I know. Well, That's a huge one. All right, go ahead, take. Uh, oh my lord! Go ahead, take that. You want me there. to catch your other fish for you too? Yeah, grab that one. Big fish. That's a big one. Yeah. There you go. Another beautiful walleye. Giant walleye. Absolutely can't beat it. Another 25. So we've caught almost all of our trolling fish. I think 24, 25 inch walleye. After catching almost our limit, jigging in an hour this morning on the reefs. Come just outside the can line, set up a troll, and that's what you get. Okay, let me release that. Beautiful fish. You can't beat Lake Erie. I'm telling you guys, it's awesome. <laughs> I don't think I can ever move away from here. Well, that's not true. If there's ever a day I can't fish anymore physically, I probably would have to move because I couldn't sit here and watch everybody out here catching fish, walleye, all the time while I was stuck in and not doing it. That'd be the only time. Till then, no way I could move. Let me know when you got 20. Caught on that bait, that last one. So I got an orange belly. Yep. Purple? No, blue. Blue, blue chrome, orange. 26. Ooh, another one. Nice. Your tip up. Real nice fish. Oh, come on. Reel it. Oh my goodness. I don't Absolute. Think I would be able to get the net in the boat. Absolute monster. Yeah, with this boat, you gotta he use it. Yeah, he fell off right in the net. Absolute. Beautiful walleye. Look at that. Jeez. Another, I guess. Well, that's bigger. Ooh, a little bit bigger. 26 inches. Absolute beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get her back in the water. She's all spawned out. Beautiful. All right. Bill Lewis. It's chrome and orange and green and blue. Well, I mean, that's what, four or five fish? I don't know, I'll have to, when I play back the video, I'll have to, I've lost count. But um, I all, would definitely- all except for one are on this side. Yeah, I mean, right now, all the trolling fish have come on the uh, Bill Lewis running relatively the same depths. I'm running shorter leads on the PWC versus the bandits, trying to get them at the roughly the same height. So, but we got roughly the same type of colors out. 
We got all basically chrome baits out. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, it's not an official controlled. It's just, it it's is what it is. It's not a scientific experiment. It's not a scientific <laughs> experiment, no. However, today, clearly the PWC on the left. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call it. I'll go ahead and do a closer when we get into uh, the uh, slip. And uh, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna uh, stop the boat, pull in our lines. We caught a ton of awesome fish today. Um, absolutely impressed. <laughs> What's going on, man? guys we're back at the slip we went uh, over to moorings got some fuel so today was an awesome day so I went out the weather was absolutely beautiful kind of had a little bit better of a breeze that would have been my only complaint about the weather otherwise it feels like a June day in April so absolutely gorgeous water clarity is fantastic didn't see any unfishable waters as far as I'm concerned all the entire day so the bite is definitely turning on the jig bite uh, we got a few more weeks of that and that when you saw that that was a fantastic bite this morning uh, if you've never done it like i said in the video you need to come out and try it so obviously we went out uh, outside the can line went to uh, b c and then towards niagara and then back towards the monument did fantastic it was a slow pick but all said and done we caught some really nice good quality fish anyways all right guys well that's pretty much it for this video as usual if you like the video go ahead give me a thumbs up smash that like button hit the uh, bell for notifications every time i release a video don't forget if you want to come out you liked what you see out uh, today on today's video you want to come out and do some fishing with me on daredevil or irish mist on the lawn to do some teach and learns go ahead give me a call or go to my website all my rates all trip information and everything else is there www.job hyphen fishing.com. Uh, otherwise guys, we'll see you on the water next time.